baby. And on Madonna's website, if you have a bunch of spare M60 Army issue ammo cases, the old 7.62 M16 cases laying around, well, maybe you don't. Go to an Army surplus store, turn them into file servers. Here to show us how, Master Sergeant Yoshi D. Herrera. What, what exactly did you do here? Well, you know, I had this line around the house. I just figured uh, it's collecting dust. Why not do something constructive with it? Now, I know people use these for toolboxes. They use them to store stuff on camping trips. They throw them at other people. I wanted a portable file server for, you know, going to MP3 parties uh -huh. or just being a file server. It's, you know, Wi-Fi. You can use it for packet cool. sniffing. You know, whatever you happen to want to do. Did you, what, break an <laughs> ATX motherboard in half to get it in there? No, or? no. Let's open this up, show you what I used. I used a Via Epi, a mini ITX motherboard. So they're real small, 170 millimeters square. Real teeny little Shut guys. So and it's a tight fit. This is the motherboard up here. It's a very, very tight fit. Let me show you the bottom of the case to show you how tight it was, actually. How tight was it? I had to cut a hole to get the PCI riser to fit properly. Don't set this down in a puddle. It uh, would be yeah, bad. no, it would be bad. This is meant to be on a dry table. Right. You know, no water. You know. Could you maybe <laughs> seal some plastic down there or something? Um, yeah, yeah, totally. Okay. And we also, you drill that. Now, on the left side of there, is that the uh, power supply I see? Naked and exposed? Yes, this, this is the naked exposed power supply because I needed that extra, you know, one centimeter. Wow, and that was a small power supply to be yeah, with. It was one of the sparkle, meant for like the e machines, that kind of thing. Got it. And if we. Drag the camera a little bit to the left there and dig down. You can actually see. How did you get the PCI the card in there? Is it a right angle adapter? It's a right angle adapter, and then I just mounted it right in the back here. So I'll show the back of it, and antenna's right there. I thought it gave it that kind of cool military radio look. Speaking of military <laughs> radio look, it's got its own dog tags? Yeah, you know, I found some blanks, used the trusty laser, etched those in. <laughs> You've done more stuff on that laser printer. Oh, I love How about a thing. hard drive? Is it a full size or a notebook hard drive? It's full size. I got a Western Digital 120 gig in there. It's a big full size drive. Yeah, you know, I mean, you could put a bigger one in there if you want, but that's just what I happen to have. So, how'd you build? What tools did you use? Back to the I Dremel used or? a Dremel, mm -hmm. a drill, and mar marker and ruler. Basically, just <laughs> hacked away and. Just hacked away. The, uh, the plastic. Uh, bases I used to mount the motherboard and the power supply. Uh -huh. I just measured them out, marked them, marked my holes, drilled them, then so used those as a template. To cut there's the wall out. of the ammo case, and there's a layer of plastic. And yeah, then there's, there's a the layer of plastic because I don't want the contacts from the solder points touching. To short and out. I couldn't, <laughs> I couldn't take the space to put risers in there because I would have wow. taken too much of the space away. It's that tight. It, yeah. It, it <laughs> stuffed as it is. Any heat issues? Um, a little. Um, the fans I was originally originally going to mount in there didn't fit. Okay. <laughs> so I'm actually going to modify it here in the next couple of days and put another ex fan on the outside here under the handle. Ladies and gentlemen, the man <laughs> has done it again. Where can they find it's more information on this? Um, they article? can find it on the site. Yes. He's going to power He's going to actually hook it up to the it's, monitor. It's actually on right now, works. but here, let's uh, power it on here. You want to turn your ammo case into file servers, check out Yoshi's article at the screen there savers. There, it's running now. <laughs> What's the next mod going to be, Yosh? Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. I'm no, going to I'm 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 go back to the basics a little bit and do some cheap, easy mods. Cheap, easy mods? Yeah. We like cheap, easy mods. <laughs> Stick around. After the break, we'll take Daryl's call. He wants to boot into Linux, but with a UI, why isn't it working? Sounds like he's got command line issues. But first, listen up to Sarah, because she's got a Windows tip for you. Oh, we're not doing that. We'll see okay. you in a few minutes. Thank <laughs> you.